Yesterday, iCom released a new firmware for the ID50 and the ID52 and the ID52 Plus and all the ones in that line, but, but the only one I own is the single certified verified freefall capable ID50. The changes in the firmware are nothing huge, but since the firmware update is out there, I'm gonna go ahead and update my radio, come along and I'll show you how it's done. The download is here. I will put a link to this on the description. Scroll down, you're gonna see that we're gonna to update to version 105 and it was released uh, as of today, a day ago. Uh, today's the 23rd of November. And you see that the changes are sort of minimal. Support for micro SD cards up to 256 gig. This is really, really important because finding small capacity micro SD cards that are reliable is getting to be tough. And of course, when you do that, you need to format the micro SD card inside of the radio. And then they fixed a problem with uh, their digital voice mode. Scroll all the way down, look at the terms of service for the software, check the box, download the file, and once the download completes, now that we have the file downloaded, it is a zip file, we're gonna unzip it, and then we're gonna take the resulting single file that comes out of it, copy it, and we're gonna drop it on our ID50 micro SD card. In this case, I already have one. Go in there and paste it right there. Once the copy of the file to the micro SD card is complete, we're gonna take this micro SD card out and put it in the radio. Now that we have the firmware file on the card, uh, first of all, I'm gonna turn this on and turn this on, version 103. Now we're gonna to go to the menu and under set SD card down to firmware update. Firmware updating, you know, you get the little standard uh, warning that you know you can break your own thing and whatever. Do you want to continue or do you, do you agree to all of the above? Yes, I do. Make a backup of the card? Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and make a backup. No big deal. Just takes a few seconds. And you see that the backup is named with today's date and then underscore zero one, so for version one. Backup is complete. And now I'm gonna select the file for the firmware upgrade, 50E. You know what, that is the wrong firmware. Let me go download the correct firmware. I downloaded 50E 105 and it should be 50A105. This is an ID50A, not an ID50E. Uh, give me a second, I'll be right back. Well, I thought I had the wrong version, but I don't. I have the correct version. There's only one download from the ICOM Japan website. So let's turn this puppy back on. Menu, set, SD card, firmware update. Yes, I already made a backup, so no. I'm gonna go ahead and select the firmware. Basically tells you until it, it's gonna cycle power and until it's back up and running don't mess with the power and don't mess with the SD card. Want to continue updating? Yes I do. cycle showing version 105 down on the bottom and we're going to show version and CPU took the update the DSP is the correct version and the GPS is the correct version we are good to go that's all I have on this one catch you guys on the next one seven three